Welcome dear friends to my video lecture on legal provisions on inclusive education. Today we are going to speak about in this video uh, National Education Policy 1986 and Program of Action 1992. Both we are going to speak about how they are going to uh, promote this inclusive education in our educational institutions. Let us straight away enter into the topic. Legal provisions, policies and legislations on inclusive education. Inclusive education is the practice of educating all children, including those with disabilities, in regular schools where they can learn alongside their peers, their friends. In India, several important legal provisions, policies and legislations have been put in place to support inclusive education. These provisions aim to create an education system where all children, regardless of their abilities, have the right to learn and participate fully. Some of the key policies and legislations include the National Policy on Education 1986, Program of Action 1992, and the Persons with Disabilities Act 1995. Each of these plays a vital role in promoting inclusive education in India. Let us talk about National Policy on Education 1986. The National Policy on Education was formulated by the Government of India to address the country's educational needs. One of its main goals was to provide education for all, with a focus on reaching marginalized and disadvantaged groups. The National Policy on Education 1986 emphasized that every child should have access to education, including those with the physical and mental disabilities problems. The policy recognized the need for special provisions to cater to children with disabilities and it promoted the integration of children with disabilities into regular schools rather than segregating them into special institutions. The NPE also stressed the importance of teacher training in understanding the needs of children with disabilities. It encouraged the schools to adapt their curricula and teaching methods to ensure that all students, regardless of their disabilities, could participate in and benefit from education. The policy called for the creation of educational resources and materials that could support inclusive education, such as the textbooks in Braille, sign language, and other assistive technologies. Let us talk about Program of Action 1992, you know, the Program of Action because of uh, New Education Policy 1986. 1986, New Education Policy was a drop. But how to implement that uh, New Education Policy 1986? There came Program of Action 1992. Uh, Jagannath Mishra was one of the members here. The Program of Action POA formulated in 1992 as a follow up to the National Policy on Education provided a detailed roadmap for implementing the policy's objectives. The program of action further reinforced the commitment to inclusive education by outlining specific steps to integrate children with disabilities into mainstream schools. It suggested measures such as providing access to special education resources, training teachers in special needs education, and ensuring that the schools have the infrastructure necessary to support children with disabilities. The program of action also highlighted the need for awareness campaigns to change societal attitudes towards disability. It recognized that the stigma and discrimination were barriers, barriers to the full inclusion of children with disabilities in schools and society. By promoting the importance of inclusive education, the program of action sought to ensure that children with disabilities were not only included in schools, but also treated with their dignity and respect. The Persons with the Disabilities Act 1995 The Persons with the Disabilities Act, PWD Act of 1995, was another significant step in ensuring the rights of people with the disabilities in India, including their right to education. This legislation mandated that children with disabilities should have access to education in a manner that was suitable to their needs and abilities. It specifically addressed the importance of making education accessible for children with disabilities 
whether through special schools or by adapting regular schools to meet their requirements. The PWD Act required that schools provide the necessary infrastructure such as, such as ramps and toilets <coughs> to make schools accessible to students with physical disabilities. It also encouraged the use of assistive devices and technologies to help children with visual, hearing or cognitive impairments participate fully in the learning process. Moreover, the Act called for the appointment of special educators in schools to provide the necessary support for students with disabilities. <coughs> Implications for inclusive education These legal provisions collectively form the foundation for inclusive education in India. They emphasize the importance of integrating children with disabilities into regular schools, providing necessary support and adaptations, and training teachers to handle diverse needs. These laws and policies also encourage the development of infrastructure and resources that make learning accessible to all students. The National Policy on Education 1986 laid the groundwork for inclusive education by recognizing the need for integration and equal opportunities for children with disabilities. <coughs> the Program of Action 1992 provided a more detailed plan <coughs> to achieve these goals while the Persons with the Disabilities Act 1995 gave legal backing to the right of children with the disabilities to receive an education. Together, these provisions aim to create an education system that is inclusive, accessible and equitable. What are the challenges and opportunities here? Despite these important policies and legislations, challenges remain in implementing inclusive education in India. Many schools still lack the infrastructure and resources needed to support children with disabilities. There is also a <coughs> shortage of trained teachers who are equipped to work with children with diverse learning needs. In some areas, negative attitudes towards disability continue to exist, which can hinder the full inclusion of children with disabilities in education. However, these challenges also present opportunities for improvement. Continued advocacy and awareness campaigns can help change attitudes and promote inclusion. The development of specialized training programs for teachers can improve their ability to teach children with disabilities. Increased investment in infrastructure and assistive technology <coughs> can ensure that schools are accessible to all children. Furthermore, greater collaboration between government agencies, non-governmental organizations and communities can help create a more inclusive education system. Inclusive education is a vital part of creating an equitable and just society. The legal provisions such as the National Policy on Education 1986, the Program of Action 1992 and the Persons with Disabilities Act 1995 have laid a strong foundation for the inclusion of children with disabilities in the Indian education system. While challenges persist, the continued implementation of these policies along with increased awareness and support can help ensure that all children, regardless of their abilities, have the opportunity to learn and succeed in an inclusive educational environment. What is the main goal of the National Policy on Education 1986 out of the four which should be the correct one? That is to provide education for all children including those with disabilities. The National Policy on Education emphasized providing education for all children including those with disabilities by integrating them into regular schools. Which year was the National Policy on Education formulated? That is 1986 as we know. The National Policy on Education was formulated in 1986 to address the country's educational needs including inclusive education. What did the Program of Action 1992 focus on? Promoting online education, outlining specific steps for inclusive education, establishing new universities, promoting private sector involvement in education which is the right one, that is outlining specific steps for inclusive education. The Program of Action 1992 detailed specific steps for integrating children with disabilities into mainstream schools, which act ensures the rights of persons with disabilities in India. National Policy on Education Act, the Persons with Disabilities Act, the Right to Education Act, the Education for All 
or act that is the persons with the disabilities act 1995 the rights of person with the disabilities in india no? that you know this law ensures that the persons with the disabilities act guarantees the rights of people with disabilities including the right to education what was one of the key goals of persons with the disabilities act 1995 to create special institutions for children with disabilities to provide accessible education for children with disabilities in regular schools to stop inclusive education practices to reduce the number of children with disabilities in schools so what is the question what was one of the key goals of the persons with disability act that is to provide accessible education for children with disabilities in regular schools the persons with disabilities act emphasized making education accessible for children with disabilities either through special schools or by adapting regular schools which of the following was a key provision of the national policy on education 1986 kindly go through all the four alternatives that is recognize the need for integration of children with disabilities the npa recognized the importance of integrating children with disabilities into regular schools what is the program of action 1992 suggests for teachers that is teachers should receive training in special needs education the program of action 1992 emphasized the need for teacher training in special needs education to effectively teach children with disabilities which provision is highlighted by the person with the disabilities act 1995 for schools that is schools should ensure the physical accessibility of the building the pwd act requires schools to provide necessary infrastructure such as ramps and accessible toilets to accommodate students with physical facilities which of the following is an objective of the national policy on education 1986 out of the four which is the right and which of the following is an objective of national policy on education that is to create a system where every child has the opportunity to learn including children with the disabilities the npe aims to ensure that all children including those with the disabilities have the right to education what was the major focus of the program of action in terms of society that is to change societal attitudes towards disabilities the program of action focused on changing societal attitudes to eliminate stigma and discrimination towards children with disabilities what is the persons with the disabilities act encourage for children with the visual or hearing impairments that is school should use assistive devices and technology the pwd act encourages schools to use assistive devices to help children with the visual hearing or cognitive impairments which of the following is a barrier to inclusive education mentioned here that is the lack of trained teachers and proper infrastructure so uh, yes shortage of trained teachers and inadequate infrastructure or challenges in implementing inclusive education what was the role of the program of action in implementing inclusive education out of these four which is the right one that is it outlined the specific steps for integrating children with the disabilities into schools regular schools the program of action provided a detailed plan to integrate children with the disabilities into mainstream schools which provision in the persons with the disability act 1995 ensures accessibility out of these four which is the right one that is schools should make their buildings physically accessible for uh, you know children with the disabilities the pwd act requires schools to make buildings accessible by providing ramps and other facilities for students with disabilities what is one of the key features of inclusive education in india that is integrating children with disabilities into regular schools inclusive education aims to integrate children with disabilities into regular schools and allowing them to learn alongside their peers what challenges inclusive education face in india there is a lack of adequate infrastructure and resources in inadequate infrastructure and resources are significant challenges in implementing inclusive education in india 
<coughs> what does the persons with disabilities act say about special educators that is special educators should be hired to help children with the disabilities the pwd act calls for the appointment of special educators to assist children with the disabilities in mainstream schools which is a key objective of inclusive education in india that is to provide opportunities for all children to learn regardless of their abilities the goal of inclusive education is to ensure that all children including those with the disabilities have the opportunity to learn which group of people does the persons with the disabilities act to protect persons with the disabilities including children in education the pwd act to protects the rights of persons with the disabilities including children ensuring they have access to education what is the major benefit of inclusive education mentioned in the passage <coughs> that is it helps in creating an equitable and just society inclusive education promotes equality by providing opportunities for all children regardless of their abilities thank you very much dear friends god bless you abundantly let us meet in other video lectures kindly subscribe so that my video get some value i will be giving it a tumble also i will be giving pdf files also i already prepared only thing certain colors and uh, you know it has to be ordered properly that sir soon i will be announcing to you thank you very much dear friends god bless you abundantly